Guys, I hate to say it. I'm in desperate need of a life reset. Current situation, I just woke up. It is 2 p.m. on a Friday and my room, well, it looks, it looks like this. No oh, one, this is not even the worst of it. And yeah, we all have our moments. Judge. I'm in my last month of school right now and it is pretty much a very common theme in my life that at this time I'm going through a burnout. I'm focusing on grades, constantly running around, and most of all, my environment looks atrocious. I have a bad habit of letting things build up and accumulate until I realize it is affecting my mental health and I just don't feel motivated anymore because I'm just in this draining environment. Your environment is such a big factor into how successful you are in so many parts of your life. If I'm not working out, it's probably because because my room's a mess. If I have bad grades, it's probably because my room is a mess. Most of all, usually when I'm in a burnout, it's usually because I just am not taking care of myself. Back in the day, I'd probably let this go on for a little too long, but that is no longer. And this is where it stops. Let's start by writing out our extensive list of everything that needs to get done. Also, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely subscribe. Let's start by picking up everything on the floors, washing sheets, towels, putting, everything back in its place, putting away dishes, sweeping, dusting. Also, this video isn't just me deep cleaning my room. I also thought I would throw in a few other things like re-redecorating, re adding print and cute desk decor. I also have to thoroughly plan out the month of May because otherwise if I don't plan for it, I won't be ready for it. Let's get on with it, babes. Ah, hey. Got some new bedding. I literally saw this coming because I love constantly changing up my room. It's also just something that gives like a new feeling, kind of like when you're starting a new school year or getting in a new relationship, like all the feels that you get is just so and that's how I feel when I change up my room. Anyways, I did get the very popular floral bed sheets. I got new sheets because my sheets have gone through it. Kind of TMI, but like there's huge period stains on it. And I feel like at this point, like I need to just get rid of them, throw them out. I mean, I've had them for a long time and they've just gone through the mud. We are retiring those. So I also got this pink duvet cover to match with it. Right now I'm going to change out all of my bedding, take everything off. I think once I do that, my room's already going to look pretty like brand new and switched up. We still have a lot of cleaning to go. So that was just a brief intermission. I never knew how to put on a pillowcase properly. Just now discovering what I'm supposed to do with the flap on the inside. The most satisfying part is literally throwing away all the little pieces of trash. Ow! This may be a really dumb question, but I don't know if I would be recycling this or just tossing it in the trash. I also want to like reiterate that I would give this away if this was like in a condition that it should be given away, but it literally has like dirt stains and most of all like period stains. And I just don't think anyone would even want this to be like handed down to them. We still have a few areas to clean. Need to clean up this desk space. I'm also gonna build this. It's something for my desk, which you guys will see. She's still a mess. This is the current vibe for today. Wait, that is so cute, but I think it's missing something. <laughs> I should put like little chocolates in here for when I get hungry. 
I'm picking a commercial break to thank today's sponsor of this video, which is Pear Eyewear. What a perfect sponsor for a girl who has very blurry vision. Pear Eyewear is a revolutionary eyewear brand that offers high quality, affordable, and customizable prescription, including blue light glasses. How this all works is when you go on the website, you're gonna start by picking a base frame. Base frame that I have are these ones that I'm wearing right now. And then you'll be choosing some top frames that, that can go on top of your base frame. Let me show you guys the ones that I picked out. These are my top frames. You're gonna be mind blown as to how you apply these on. So we're gonna apply these ones first and all you do is take them and did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Basically, you have brand new glasses. Let's try this again with my other top frames. These ones are literally adorable. They're like this wooden kind of like design. And then I have these black ones. Ah! <laughs> Truly amazed because this is like the cutest, funnest thing to do. And best of all, I got these. If I was going to like the beach, I could literally just take these with me and like apply them on when the sun comes out. My dad has this type of look for his glasses also and I think it's so funny because now we're matching. Cool thing about pair eyewear is everything is done online. Everything can be done from the comfort of your home. You can even choose your glasses from putting in your prescription. They do this little tool where they measure your eye so that it fits your like face good. A very important note that I wanted to mention about this brand is that for every pair of purchase, they will provide a pair of glasses for a child in need. This is something that I will always stand by but all the more reason to love this brand so please do yourself a favor and buy yourself some high quality glasses affordable ones that you can brag to your friends about and be like hey look at this i can literally change my glasses in like seconds use the link in my description box for 15 percent off your first pair again thank you to pair eyewear for sponsoring today's video cool things keep keep doing the good stuff. For right now, we're actually gonna take a little pause on the decorating and deep cleaning, and I'm actually gonna get my nails done. Getting my nails done is something that I always hold off until like a month later. I would say certain parts of myself is very like low maintenance, and then other parts are very high maintenance. To say when it comes to nails, getting my toes done are on my low maintenance part. So let's go do girly things, get our nails done. Be cute, be pretty. I both never do a French tip nor like pick a dark shade. So this was really different. And at first I was kind of like thrown off. I was like, do I like it? Do I not like it? But you know what? I think it just has to grow on me. Before I head back home, I think I'm gonna grab some coffee and then get back to work. Got my matcha. Look how tiny it is so cute. Mm. I did get some new glasses. I actually never really bought any kitchenware. So I thought I would finally pick some up. Oh, it's too. Look how cute these are. I just feel like I would love to stick like my matcha in here right now. Sip out of here because I feel like that would be so bougie. But it's not because it's from Amazon. Next, I got these. I got one cup. Love this color. And it comes with a matching green straw. Of course, I'm going to get green and pink because these are my top two favorite colors. And third comes blue. I also love the shape of these glasses because they're just like rounding. And you can honestly even just take off the lid if you wanted to. And it comes in a clear cup as well which classic is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen well i can't wait to share these with my roommates hopefully they will enjoy <laughs> convinced that I have a problem with knowing how to properly swallow countless times I've caught myself literally choking on my own spit I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but I am kind of sick video really wouldn't be a me getting my life together if I didn't end up sick somehow meanwhile I'm in my room I thought might as well just clean my bathroom and get a few things done in there I want to organize my makeup throw out old things clean my towels probably been using the same towels for like the past two months now so yeah let's let's get to that um for context this is what the I also want to like sort through all these cupboards. Obviously, they look madness. I also got this pack of Clorox wipes so we can do a lot of disinfecting. Also, a little snake if you guys don't know what this is, but it's to unclog your sink. Currently having that problem. It's kind of gross, but my sink has just been overflowing. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> Gross. Ew. So 
I just got this makeup bag from Amazon and I think I'm actually just gonna start putting my makeup in here That way it's easier to just like keep in one spot Clearly, I am not very good at keeping my makeup organized. So I think this is gonna solve the problem bathroom tour because this is the most organized my bathroom will ever be starting off on this section all my rings are over here a little hair tie this cupboard organizer i got from daiso i have a bunch of like contact stuff in here face masks over here perfumes boyfriend's deodorant <laughs> and then in this drawer we significantly reduced all the clutter that was in here this is all a bunch of like my hair accessories that i use i reorganized these shelves <laughs> These have all of my hair care products inside. And then these are my skincare like everyday uses. My favorite cleanser by Curology. And then a bunch of new stuff that I've been trying out. And then in this one I have some hair brushes. I just filled up the spray bottle with water and like rosemary oil. Our before and after this is literally insane. It was looking rough. And now I look at it and she's truly a beauty. It has been like two, two, three weeks later. And that's the end of time. I finished my finals week. Soon after that, I left for Hawaii. I'm happy to say I think I ended with like a 3.8. And that is a huge accomplishment for me because it is the goal that I set for myself. Anyways, Hawaii. Probably like Michaela, you are very tan. This is the most tan I've ever been. Although the Hawaii experience was amazing, I was definitely ready to get back into my routine. I am determined by the end of today, my life will be back in order and it will be the start of a beautiful summer. First things first, unpacking. That is the most dreadful task of today. my room so i'll show you guys what it looks like now because it is my sanctuary quick little overview of what my room looks like i haven't shown you guys this yet which this is like a locker storage cabinet that i have all of my shoes in if you guys do remember i used to have like this little bench here that i never used for sitting and i needed more storage realistically so i was like let me get one of these and i think it looks so cute in the room especially the little pink color literally building this was a whirlwind of emotions i'm not one to give out one stars but i will give this a one star this is honestly really complicated but i'm figuring it out slowly whoa it literally just stays up from these little metal pieces i kind of take back what i said the assembly process it's a little weird but i kind of like it That is so cool. This area, I'm still freaking out what works best with each other, but I love displaying like a summary -esque screen on the monitor. I also moved my LED clock over here. It never shows the right time, so I don't even bother changing it. Covered the new bedding. It's doing great. Above my bed, I ended up adding these three prints up here, which if you saw my last room rearranging video, I said I was taking down all my prints and that they weren't gonna be coming back, but I knew they were coming back. <laughs> I just bought these two new prints. I just feel like the white looks more simplistic. Nothing much has changed here except for the fact that I have this like cute little astronaut projector. Astronaut down. This is my current book read, guys. I'm on like page 200. I have never read a book this fast. I did end up bringing my record player over here and then stack the books like this. I like that some of them show the spine and that some of them don't. I think it's just kind of like cool, funky looking. Also, a bouquet of flowers that my friend just gave me for my birthday. I highly encourage that you stay to the end of this video where I talk about how to shift your mindset into forcing yourself to like keep your room clean. And I know a few of us struggle with this. Now that my environment is back in order, it is back in its piece. We're doing some monthly planning. 
planning specifically for the months of June and July just because those are the typical summer months. I also ended up buying these really cute stickers. These specifically are my favorite ones. And then this little notepad. All of this from Daiso. I kind of want to do a little bit of like scripting goal setting in here. A lot of my accomplishments have come from me manifesting something. And obviously manifesting doesn't just come with you like thinking something is going to happen and you like not acting on it at all. It all comes with the mindset that is placed in your mind and then the actions that come with it. In fact, this is my proof to you guys. When I wanted to move into this house and I wanted to specifically move in with my roommate now, who's like one of my best friends, Giselle, I wrote this down on a piece of paper at the time, but I was like, you know what? Whatever I can do to make it happen. You know, I looked at houses, I looked at apartments, you know, put in applications. I literally wrote this down. We're gonna get a house for the next semester. I wrote it down like five times and then I wrote that me and Giselle were going to live together. I envisioned myself in this house. I believed it would come true. And where am I living at now? At the beginning of this year, I didn't do the typical 2020 23 goal setting vision boards and all such it's also never too late to do that like you can do that at any point of the year i feel like summer is the best time because it's like when you're on break and you have all this time and you can like create this whole brand new version of yourself anyways let's get to it we're gonna start off by planning the month on notion just throughout everything from may basically what i do is i have this it's like a sticker i would say and what you do is you click on it and it basically like paste this whole thing right here and then i just add in a few new weeks we have a whole clean slate for us to plan out the month of june My favorite part of the video especially because I myself feel like I am entering this new era of myself specifically a very confident ambitious version it has a lot to do with me listening to you some positive affirmations in the morning oddly enough I feel like since the beginning of this video I have changed a lot my camera battery died so I had to make a quick little switch but as I was saying when I started this video my room was in a mess and you guys know I've been there plenty of times although I always did these extravagant room makeovers and I was always deep cleaning my room I needed to look at my room in a way that I held it very dearest to me. I saw this room as my own sacred sanctuary, as a place for me to come home at the end of the night and feel at peace. Being in a messy environment has actually been a cause of some mental breakdowns for me. So I know how important it is for me to be in a space that feels calm, that feels clean. And I think I'm learning to really value this space and treat it as if it were a human being. If I put the time and effort into it, and I nurture it and I am constantly checking up on it, then it will reciprocate back to me in a positive way. Another thing is to just be more productive, having more mental clarity. Oh my gosh, let me just say, I have lack of mental clarity when my room is a mess. Basically just being in an overall better mood. I can tell you how much better I feel when, when I am in this clean environment. A little shout out to my roommate who literally keeps her room spotless. Her outlook on her room and basically said that she views her room as, as the one space that is hers. So she takes care of it because at the end of the day, she 
wants to come back to it and feel that peace. That is where my mindset is shifting towards how I view my room. I think before I just viewed it as a place to decorate and a place to be, not a place that I needed to take care of so that it can take care of me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a long one. Don't think that your life reset needs to happen overnight. It can take weeks. Just be patient with yourself. Keep treating yourself with love and kindness. I'm gonna give you guys a little hug and kiss and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye, hug and kiss. Yeah.